part of their work, but um, but I thought there's got to be a different way where you can do processing. Um, and there's still little screens on some of these, but maybe just have it be more tactile and have it feel a bit more. For me, there's a playfulness to these pedals, particularly because they're not designed for voice. And also, it's new to me. It's a little bit of a mysterious world. And I find when I'm a little bit ignorant about how something works, uh, more accidents happen, and they're usually better than my own ideas. So um, so I then I started buying pedals, and it got out of control because I, this is like a third of as many pedals as I like to have. Um, but they can do cool stuff. And there's some stuff in Ableton, like that Melodyne plugin, where you can do that in real time. So um, and there's pedals that will do stuff in real time better than uh, at least Ableton can. Um, so, let me see if I can see. So, let me see if I can freeze. Get, come back to that one. Um, there's just like a lots of. Um, I go back to. There's lots of different um, octave pedals out there. And this is one. It's again electro harmonics brand. Um, I think it sounds, sorry, it's called the Pog 2. It's pretty big, uh, but I, I think it does a good job. Maybe that's why it's so big, it's sort of getting the, the sounds to be good.
a delay. You basically, and this is like a tremolo. So you basically just start to have something that is like your accompaniment. It's kind of like helping you out, <laughs> helping fill the space under a main vocal, or um, you could just do this and then play guitar over it. I mean, you can really do anything. Um, but what's really cool about this pedal is it has different modes. So that was a glitch mode. There's also like a synthy mode. Um, let's see. sound the best. I don't actually know how to do that live in Ableton. If there's actually a good plugin for that. Um, but I've had a lot of crashing when I try to do harmonizing and um, pitch shifting stuff in live and I feel like I don't want things to crash. <laughs> it's just such a bummer like live. So yeah. Um, but yeah this right now is kind of what I have. Um, this one's been acting up but it'll add a choral sound so it'll add like this I just sing, ooh, it'll add like a, a feeling of a choir singing. It's What's pretty that called? Um, It's called the Mel 9. And yeah, that's kind of what I mean. Do you have all of them daisy chained, or are there certain pedals that only go to certain other pedals? Yeah, so what I have is I have these are two, these that I just showed you are routed over here. There's a different routing for okay. the second one. So th what these pedals can do is they can sample two, two notes. So I was like, oh, I want a chord. <laughs> I want to be able to sample three notes over each other, or four. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why I splurged and got two. Um, but I like also when you have something that does the same thing, but you send it two different delays and reverbs. Just You can even pan one left and one right, and then you have a weird feeling of space going on. Um, and the stuff over here is my voice. It's what I, right now I'm also, routing voice through this stuff, which isn't very interesting. It's reverb, delay, some pitch shifting. Um, but yeah, I find when you have separation, it's a little, it's better, because it's just, it gets gets so messy if you just route everything through yeah. more than like five, six pedals. Um, oh, and if you want to do stuff like this, there's different things you can buy. <coughs> I have this thing called the Vocal Loco. So basically, um, put your mic in, and then you can kind of send it to the effects. This is routed where I took the send output <coughs> to the pedals, and then I just put it in the mixer. <coughs> but that's because it's mono, and I like uh, stereo effects. View of all mono effects, you can route uh, out of this little box into the effects, and then back into the box. And then you can control, like if it starts to get messy, you just shut it off. Yeah. Um, and that's what I do right now for live stuff, because it's just it's so hard to hear yourself on stage. <laughs> Once you start doing this, you're like, I don't know what I'm singing. Um, but the bummer of these is that they tend to just be made in mono. So I hope someone designs one in stereo, because I think most people like to have a stereo delay or stereo reverb 